Miss Briar is here? Oh my gosh. <gasps> is this it? Rototo! This is Jock. Who? Sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. And would you believe it? Your name was one of the ones chosen! You'll get to go study and experience the great outdoors in the land of Kitakami! It's a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can't send too many students. You really are a lucky one getting selected as one of the participants. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all the details. Of course you don't have to take- What do you mean? Of course I'm gonna take part! Kitakami! Let's go! What is up everyone and welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Teal Mask DLC. In case you didn't know, this playthrough is actually being live broadcasted on YouTube right now if you're watching when it comes out. And I'm going to try to play through the entire story of the DLC tonight. So check out the link in the description for the live stream and don't forget to hit that like button if you guys are excited for this new playthrough. You can already see behind me, we got Briar, the new teacher from Kitakami. Or wait, no, she's from the Blueberry Academy, but she's apparently going to be chaperoning us to Kitakami. Mr. Jack said the students for the school trip would be around here. That's me! Look at our drip too. <gasps> oh, you must be one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was... Orange, ma'am. Orange, huh? Well, aren't you a polite one? You're positively dazzling. Oh, and you even have a Terra Orb. I guess Paldea is rich enough in resources for that sort of thing to be common at this school. Wait, is it not common in Blueberry? Unless that's not the case? Oh yeah, I am pretty exceptional. But here I go on and on, and I haven't even introduced myself. Call me... Miss Briar! Oh, so sorry I'm late. Oh, hello to you too! What a lucky scamp you are, getting to take part in a school trip so soon after transferring. I sure am happy for you. I wish I could go too. <clears throat> uh, sorry, Miss Byer. I got a bit carried away. Well, as Mr. Jock so kindly stated, my name is Briar. I'm a teacher over at Blueberry Academy. That's a school in the Unova region, you know. Miss Briar helps set the curriculum there. Wait, did that was that the confirmation that it's in Unova? I don't think they ever said in the trailers that it's in Unova. Yo! You know we're going back to Unova? This year is Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We'll be heading to Kitakami, a land known for its picturesque fields and rice paddies. The place has a rustic feel, but there is also something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same energy present in Paldea's terrestrial phenomenon has been detected there. I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself, in between my supervising duties. Though I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the Great Crater. Ooh, we know exactly why she's trying to go in there, bro. Look at those earrings! Ah, yes, well, there's not much I can do about that without the permission from the director. Oh, I know. I've already put in all the proper applications. I trust that I'll give a favorable response soon. Uh, well, <laughs> you see, it's something with my checking and my savings. I gotta route the right way. Sorry, I forgot all about you for a moment there. Anyway, the school trip. Think of it as a chance to continue your treasure hunt on a grander scale. To search beyond Paldea's borders. I'll even provide you with a special update to your Pokedex if you'd get your phone out. <gasps> national Dex? The National Dex is back, guys? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> But we do get the update to see all the Kitakami in Pokemon. And there we go! Now you can go wild registering all the Pokemon found in Kitakami. And don't worry about a permission slip for the trip. I already cleared things with your mom. Damn, we don't even have to say bye to our mom. Just go and have fun. I mean, I guess she knows at least. Not like we're just leaving to some foreign country without telling her. Ah, oh, your Mr. Jack is quick, shy, uh, ch charming. Briar, hello? 
delightfully direct when he wants to be. Now then, it's quite a trip to the land of Kitakami. I hope you don't mind flying or long bus rides. Let me know as soon as you're ready to set out, won't ya? Wait, we're flying like on a plane, right? Not on the back of some tiny Pokemon? Yes, I'm ready! I've been ready, dude! Let's go! We'll set out together as a group once the other students arrive. I hear you were all chosen for this trip by lottery, so this may be the first time you meet. I know my role is to chaperone you kids around, but I fully intend to have some fun of my own while I'm at it, just so you're aware. By the way, do you know of the Scarlet Book? Oh, here we go! Yes, give me the juicy details, Briar. As you should. It was the most influential book of the century on the subject of the paranormal. The author of the Scarlet Book, Heath, was in fact an ancestor of mine confirmed! The hair was not lying! She really is a descendant of Heath. I even have his original manuscript. Look here. These are the pages that were blacked out and made illegible in the un- Wait! She has the unblocked version? Yo! I mean, we already knew what it said, but this is crazy! While separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. Bro, I love this! Oh my god, there's more?! It's Terrapagos! It's confirmed! I suspect that its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. The Pokemon depicted on these pages is Terrapagos. Dude, they are not wasting any time getting right to what the fans want to know, the lore. It's a mysterious Pokemon that Heath allegedly encountered when he delved even further into the depths of Area Zero. Not that the general public believed him. It's my dream to find Terrapagos and prove that Heath's records were all true. Though, I haven't yet been able to secure permission to enter Area Zebra, unfortunately. Man, she's a lot less sus than I thought she would be though. But that's fine, it'll be fine. All I need to do is now focus on the work that's in front of me. Miss Briar, we're ready to go- who the frick is this guy? Got little Timmy with the red hat? Looks like the gang's all here. Alright everyone. To the land of Kitakami! Yeah! We got some nobodies coming along with us, man. I was hoping... Oh, there is a little plane. And a little Dragonite flying beside it. Oh, that's cute. I love that. But yeah, uh, I was hoping that some of our friends from the main story would join along, like Nimona, Arvin, or Penny. Looks like they won't be joining us. At least not yet. As we begin... The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero, Part 1, The Teal Mask. Oh man, I'm so excited! Dude, we're here! Kitakami! Oh, this is so sick! We're finally here! Shut up, Nestor. My butt's kicking me after all those hours sitting. First the plane, then that bus. <laughs> well, you all survived the long trip. Dude, that's true. If they went all the way from Spain to Japan, and then they went to the rural part of Japan, that's gotta be a very long trip. We haven't lost anyone along the way, have we? All here! Please tell me there's a surprise. Please, there's gotta be... Nimona, at least. No, I, I don't even want Nimona, actually. I would much rather have Arvin or Penny. This is the stage for all the new experiences and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. Oh my gosh, first thing I'm gonna do is open up the map as soon as we can. But of course, first we gotta get some exposition dump. We got Mosui Town, our base of operations. Miss Briar, I don't feel so good. Uh oh, all that travel must have given you a dose of motion sickness. What, is that like jet lag? Why don't we pause here for a moment and take in the sight of these fields? Now, Orange, I have a little request for you. Could you run ahead to the community center in Mosui and let the caretaker know we're here? It would also be great if you could explain that one of our students is not feeling well. Lil Timmy can't do it, man. <laughs> the motion sickness got to him. 
On your way then. I'll look after your poor travel buddy here. Wait, you mean Timmy, right? Not my Pokemon? Please don't take my Pokemon. I only got two of them, and one of them's level 9 and 75. Okay, we are definitely not uh, the best prepared that we could be for this DLC, but whoa! Wait, what level are these Pokemon? 54! Oh, okay. So I guess they do scale depending on how far. Is that a cutie fly? Why is it so big though? What the heck? I mean, I guess cutie fly can be different sizes, but normally it's... Oh, what? We can't ride Goraidon yet. All right, let's check out the map though. Press L and R while the map is open to switch between the maps. Okay, so we can go back to Paldea. But now nah, this is what we want right now. The Apple Hills. Okay, yo, there's raids. Wait, can we zoom out more? Oh, dude. This is actually pretty big. What is this over here? There's like a cave area. The Paradise Barrens. We got Kitakami Wilds. Timeless Woods. That's where we're going to mess around with Perrin. Fellhorn Gorge. Kitakami Hall. Oni Mountain. I love the name. Infernal Pass, bro. Wistful Fields. And if we zoom in, there's even more. Kitakami Road. This is so cool. Not super diverse in terms of biomes. Like, we basically just have forests and caves. And a little bit of mountains, I guess. Why are there just Pokeballs, bro? These Pokemon are way too high level for Pokeballs. I mean, I guess we probably could just... Catch a Sawaddle with a regular Pokeball, no matter what level it's at. I just don't think my little Mareep... Oh, a uh, little bit of stutter there. Yeah, let's let's put catnip up first. Got a Poochiena. Is that a trainer already? Eek, yo. Let's go. <laughs> I I really hope I don't lose my first battle, but we could use some experience on our Marie. She's got a Surskit. That's not a great matchup for Catnip, but she is a Paldean champion. Or I think he. Oh, she, yeah, I forgot. I uh, soft reset for a female Spirigatito in this save file. And it's dead. Why is it laggy? Bro, I, okay, look. <laughs> We're still playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You gotta keep in mind, guys. Uh, just because the DLC came out, does not mean that they fixed the performance issues in the game. All I'm going to say is it's definitely not my Switch. Or my stream, I mean. It is It is definitely just how Scarlet and Violet runs. But yo, look at Chingling. I love the textures, man. Like, metal textures in this game look so good. And there we go. Got Mareep to 15. She might even evolve already. I think uh, we get Flappy pretty early, right? And I think we do. So this is the Paldean style of battle, huh? Oh, it's happening. Yo, we already got an evolution in Kitakami. Nah, you know what? I'm going to keep this little Mareep as a baby sheep. I'm not ready to evolve our Kern. In fact, I don't even think I'm going to keep this Mareep alongside. No, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to... I want to catch all new Pokemon, you know? I want to see all the new stuff that Kitakami has to offer. <laughs> I blue-balled you all. I apologize. I know y'all were excited to see this little Mareep evolve, but I'm not ready. Maybe later. Episode 2 or something. But right now, I'm still not ready. Uh, I want to see if there's any new Pokemon around here. I mean, I know Diplin is probably not too far considering we saw the Apple Fields were like... Basically right after Mosui Town. Can we go up this? No. This is so dope though, man. Like, I have always been a huge fan of Japanese landscapes. Like rural areas and anime and movies. I would love to visit one day see these like rice fields in real life but I guess for now this this is a close you know exp 
close enough experience that I'm going to get. Once the rice fields turn nice and golden, they'll be ready for harvesting. What's up with this girl over here? They play rock, paper, scissor? What? What's going on? I worked up a sweat. You did really great. What? What are they doing? Also, is that a new trainer class? Like, what? Oh, dude, is she from Blueberry? I think those are Blueberry students. We got Corefish? Kind of reminds me of Yokai Watch. Well, the first Yokai Watch game does take place in Japan also. Makes a lot of sense. <gasps> there they are. The two new characters for part one and two of the DLC. The main students from Blueberry Academy. And Vulpix too! Oh my- Okay, I have to catch a Vulpix, guys. Sis, look! Uh, there's one now! So, you're one of those students who came from the Paldea region, huh? Whoa, way cool! Hush, Kieran. I'm Carmine. Sorry, but I can't just let an outsider like you wander into Musui Town. If you insist on coming in, you'll have to battle me first. Uh, come on, sis! You just want to battle? Making this big fuss over nothing? I told you to hush, Kiki! Just ignore my little brother. <laughs> oh man. I thought Kieran was supposed to be like way shy. He's actually very talkative, at least while his sister's around. Let's do this. Get in position. Excuse me? What did she just say? Also, are these guys from Unova then? Because they're from Blueberry Academy. I'm going to have some real good fun with you. Oh my. Something's wrong with this girl. Yo, new battle music. We're challenged by Trainer Carmine. And I literally have just one Pokemon. So I hope that Catnip can do this on her own. <laughs> Welcome to Kitakami. For your first experience, get ready to eat dirt. I love her. I absolutely love her, dude. She is so sassy. Yet so cool. And we destroy her Poochiena. Oh, you know about tight matchups, huh? <laughs> what did you expect? Do, you, do they not see my drip? Hold up. I feel like I haven't acknowledged it yet, but like, you guys saw what I'm wearing, right? Like, this isn't your typical Paldean school uniform. Clearly, I am a man that's been through some stuff, that's, uh, had some experiences in life. And we get Will-O-Wisped. Okay, that's not great. Yeah, I love this battle theme, though. All the music so far has been awesome. Which is always like, you know, Scarlet and Violet, of course, has its flaws, but the music is never one of the things I ever see them slacking in. Ah, oh, come on! That was just a lucky hit! I mean, it literally was a critical hit. I don't know if we would have killed that Vulpix without it, because we got burned, but we probably would have won regardless, right? Pulcha, guys! Yo! We got our first new Pokemon already! Now, I believe Poltergeist is Ghost and Grass type, which means... Is U-Turn super effective? No, it is not. Because Ghost resists Bug. Go on, Poltergeist. Teach him a lesson with Shadow Ball! Oh, God. Please. I, ca I can't lose, bro. I cannot lose the first battle. There's no way we get one shot, though. We have the Eviolite. How's that for a first taste of Kitakami? Not that I'm enjoying this or anything. Yeah, sure. With how you've been talking so far, we know she's definitely enjoying this. But I'm gonna have to full restore, man. Like, I'm not risking this. The Shadow Ball did a number on us, and with the burn, we probably would have died. And I literally have no other Pokemon. I probably should have caught some of the wild Pokemon before coming to the town, huh? We're fine, though. We're all good. Uh... I mean... So this is 90 power. I guess we go for a play rough. Why the frick not? And we did it! No longer burned. We got way more attack power. 
And I believe that is Carmine's last Pokemon. Noise. You. Who are you? <laughs> Respect the name. Orange, that is. Wowzers! He went and beat my sis! <laughs> he really just said Wowzers? I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me. Fine. I guess you pass. Barely. Seems I've got no choice. I'll let you into town. But only if you become one of my grunts and do every little thing I... No, 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 no. We are not becoming another Marnie situation. Here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki. We're out of here. But I... Wait up, sis! Okay. Why, hello there, stranger. You must be one of the students from that Paldian Academy, right? I help run the community center here in Mosui Town. And a fair few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group during your visit. I hope those two kids weren't giving you any grief just now, were they? Yes. Most definitely. I hardly know what to do with the two of them, especially that Carmine. Always been a handful, that one. I do apologize if she gave you a hard time. Who was that? A member of your group fell ill? I'd better get over there and give him a hand. I'll take care of everything. You go ahead and get yourself settled at the community center. We'll catch up soon. Oh yeah, I want to go check out the new Nurse Joy. I saw some screenshots, and uh, she looks a little bit extra sassy, so that's the first thing we're going to do. New TMs, yo! Hey there, this is the Pokemon Center. Are your Pokemon tired of needing a rest? Bro, what happened to the Pokemon Center? Like, first we got downgraded from a building to a gas station, and now it's literally just a stall. But check her out, though! I love this Nurse Joy! What, like... I don't even know what to call that style, but I love it. Yo, we can learn Grassy Glide! But we need some new, uh, items of a Pokemon that we don't know. See how there's question marks? That means it's a Pokemon we haven't seen yet, right? Okay, we got Poltergeist. And Heat Crash. Wait, what? High Horsepower? Icicle Spear? Wait, Scale Shot? That's the Isle of Armor one, right? All I want is Scald. I think Greninja should learn Scald. But there's no Scald available, so... Wait, no, is there? No, that Hydro Cannon. <laughs> I got excited for a second because it didn't say craftable. So if you don't know, I'm actually playing my main cartridge copy, I guess. Whereas in my original playthrough, I did it on a different Switch. So I have slightly different Pokemon, which is why I have Catnip and also this Palmot that you guys will see soon. Orange, I owe you one for fetching that Caretaker. Okay, our little travel buddy's feeling much better now too. All right, everyone, this is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in Kitakami. The plan was to have you and your students from Blueberry stay here together, but it turns out this space is gonna be all for you. Oh, right. Those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? So when you come, don't be shy. <laughs> just gonna ignore what she just said. Okay. Pretty sure she was talking about Kieran and Carmine, though, so they are from Kitakami, not Unova. Ah, oh, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. You can leave them on in here. If they're extra dirty, just try to rinse off the worst of the mud using the washing station by the door. Yeah, you gotta respect the rules. Except, we totally didn't. What? Nice and clean inside, don't you think? It's all newly built, so it's good as anything you'd find in your big fancy cities. <laughs> What you mean, bro? Our big fancy cities don't have cute little chingling... Whatever that was. Well, let's see. Over there's the cafeteria and toilets. When you want to get some sleep, please use the rooms down the hall. We've got enough space so that each of you can have a private room. So, I think that about covers everything. But if you are into any trouble, don't you hesitate to talk to our fine staff at the desk. Thank you for the tour, sir. Alright, kids. Anything to say to the staff? Uh, glad to be here. Glad to be here! What a bunch of well-mannered students. I can already tell you're gonna be wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Now let's get to the good stuff here, okay? I heard something about we get our own room. Does that mean we can customize it, maybe? 
we know that in part two, we get that like league club room, but maybe we actually get a room earlier here in part one. You're free to spend the rest of the evening as you like in the community center. But remember that tomorrow the program will be officially kicking off. Don't stay up too late or you might oversleep. Bye bye now. I guess we'll check out the room real quick. Oh, it says we need to get some rest anyway. So, off we go. And back outside. Morning everyone. Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. Go on kids, introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carmine. It's a pleasure to meet all you outsiders, I mean visitors from Paldea. <laughs> uh, I'm Kieran. Carmine and Kieran actually grew up here, so ask them for help if you need anything. I'm gonna ask her why she's acting all nice now when we know what she's really like. Now that that's settled, why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you? Yes, tell me about... What? Orienteering? Each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard you'll find snippets of an old folk tale. Read them all and learn a bit more about our home! To prove you've completed the task, we ask that each pair take a snapshot together in front of these signboards. Take a photo together in front of each and complete your mission. Does that mean we get... Our handy dandy selfie stick? Maybe? Wonderful! What an innovative idea for a group activity! Oh, and I've got a gift for each of you as well. Wow! It's the selfie stick! <laughs> I figured. So we can now take slightly different photos, or I guess vastly different, than during the base game. We can like zoom out more, and we get a new emote! Oh my gosh! Yes, a real rad. Remember that one of the goals of this trip is to deepen the ties between our two schools. It seems like having someone who knows the area well would be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs. Time to mingle, okay? Do we get to choose? According to all the screenshots, we get paired up with Kieran, but... It'd be pretty cool if we got to pick Carmine instead, I mean, with how she's been talking to us recently, I don't know. You're orange or whatever, right? Let me guess, you want to pair up with one of us poor, lonely blueberry students? Uh, duh. I want to pair up with you specifically, but if we can't pick, then I guess I'll take the short one. So my little brother here has been all googly-eyed over you since yesterday. He wouldn't stop talking about you, even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. Sis, uh, what are you telling him that for, dummy? Hey, watch who you call dummy if you know what's good for you. Oh man. Look at him being all shy. <laughs> See, my brother's no good at talking to people. He'd probably never work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like a battle with you. Uh, sure? Well, what do you know? It turns out you are sort of nice. This'll make my brother real happy. Chin up, Kiki. Orange says he'll battle you. I love that she calls him Kiki. It's like so condescending. Why does this guy keep saying wowzers though? That's so 2000 and late. I got this. Sure you do, buddy. Sure you do. The real question is, does Brigatito got this? We'll find out as we take on Kieran. And he's got a sentry. Okay, we definitely got this. Oh, I almost forgot I had Vibe on the squad now. Wowzers, I get to battle you. This is awesome. Yeah, it's not going to be so awesome in a couple of minutes here, buddy. We got bulk up close combat. Do we even need a bulk up? No, we don't, but you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Just so we can absolutely sweep through this kid. And Centric goes for Dig. Okay, that's actually not great. But uh this is fine. We'll just we'll just bulk up again. And then the dig will probably do nothing to us. 
I probably should have just used close combat, to be honest, but whatever. Now at least because we use bulk up first, our defense drop won't actually do anything, right? Oof, I guess I got a lot of weaknesses. Not really. I think Sentret's only weakness is fighting. I just so happen to have it. Totally tubular, dude. Wowzers! <laughs> but yeah, this uh, Pawmoth that I've got here, I found very early on. I don't even think I had like an outbreak or anything. It was just a random shiny that I found really early into my second playthrough of Scarlet and Violet. And I stuck with it, and now it's fully evolved and pink! And I actually really like the color of Shiny Palmy. Like, compared to a lot of the other Pokemon, or Shinies, I mean, from Paldea, this one's actually pretty cool. Maybe this is going to be a pink Pokemon playthrough. I just realized I have Mareep, or had Mareep. Now we got Palmot. All pink Pokemon. Good show! Nicely done, kids. Nothing like a friendly battle to get to know someone. Wowz- Okay, I'm- I'm so over it. <laughs> you really aren't half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know? I don't know about that. This orienteering thing. We're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair up with Kiki then. What? Sis, no! Don't what? It's not like we can pair up. Or, were you hoping to partner up with some other rando outsider? Well, no, but, uh... Don't worry. He's just being shy. I'll go find some chump to pair up with, too. Watch out for my little bro, you. Who's she gonna pair up with? Little Timmy, probably? The sickly kid? Looks like you've all paired up. Let's go ahead and mark where you'll be going on those Rotom phones yours. Yes. I wanna get to it, man. I want to do some exploring, and if you find yourself in need of any potions or balls or the like, head on over to Peachy's. Um, so it looks like we should probably start with the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. That's out past the Apple Orchards. Apple Orchards, you say? Haha. <laughs> well, you know what that means. We get Diplin soon. I hope. I also really want to get a Vulpix. But I'm not sure where Vulpix would be. I mean, we saw there's an area called, like, the Infernal Caves. I feel like that might be... Oh my god! Yo, what? Parents here already? Okay, well, I really wanted to go and catch Diplin, but... I can't just pass up Perrin, right? And her Hisuian Growlithe? Whoa, where'd you come from? I didn't even notice you there. Anyway, you are? Oh wait, no. Don't say a thing. I want to guess first. You're one of the students who came here from the Paldea region on a school trip. Bingo! <laughs> Chat's losing it for Perrin right now. You know, news tends to spread pretty quickly in this small town. The name's Perrin, by the way. I'm a traveler with a bit of a thing for photography. This here's my bud Growlithe. Doesn't the little horn on his head make it the cutest? That ain't no regular Growlithe, though. That's a Hisuian form, and I'm really curious where Perrin got one of them. Uh, sure? She wants my photo? Just like that, huh? Are you always this open with total strangers? Kinda worried about you, kiddo. Wow. She called this kiddo, guys. It's over. Got no shot with Perrin. You've got a unique vibe, you know. I like it. It's a bit different than what I'm used to. I'm gonna be making this town my home base for a little while. Why don't you focus on wrapping up whatever you've got going on for now? Come and see me after, I don't know, registering 150 Pokemon? What? Really? We need to catch that many po What? Okay. I mean, that's, that's a lot. I, I thought maybe we could do the parent quest already, but... Man. We're gonna be here for a while, aren't we? And by here, I mean Kitakami, not just Apple Hills, where we've just made it. And I'm assuming this is where we can get ourselves a Diplin. Or at least Applin, maybe? I mean, there's a lot of apples on the floor, but none of them have a little green worm sticking out of them. 
Where could our boy be? Some of these apples look like they could be interacted with, but I guess not. Okay, we picked up a tart apple. I think that one gives you a uh, flapple. And the sweet apple gives you appleton. So there's got to be a new type of apple somewhere on the floor here, right? Ooh, we got a Pichu. Is that a shiny? Probably not. I don't like shiny Pichu because it barely looks any different. But I guess there's a lot of Pokemon like that. Anyway, let's keep picking up uh, these items because... Whoa, did you see the way Ekans rolled up? That was kind of cool. If anyone sees Applin or Diplin, let me know. We're on Diplin watch right now. Unless it's actually this Terra Pokemon. Yo! Okay, it's not Diplin, but we got a special Terra Applin? Alright, well that was easy. We got a Applin. <laughs> but this is actually a bug Applin. What should we nickname it? Um, I mean, we want it to be uh, Diplin eventually, so I guess we can call her Candy. But no new apple. We got a sweet apple now. Come on, man. Where's the candy apple at? Another sweet apple? Seriously? All right. Maybe getting Diplin is a little bit more difficult than just getting an apple off the floor like with the other two evolutions. Ooh, we got a new TM. Bug Bite. Tart Apple. Come on, man. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find, like, a candied apple on the floor. I don't think that's how you do it. Unless it is a sweet apple, but I don't think so. Oh, whoops. I guess I'll try to catch everything that we run into. Because we're going to need a lot of Pokemon in order to do Parent's Quest, apparently. So, might as well start catching everything that we see, right? And the first one in our Kitakami decks will be Bellsprout. We can claim another reward. Hold up, how does that work? Let me check the Pokedex real quick. Oh! I see, okay, wait. Parents said we need to catch 150 Pokemon from Kitakami, but we are, what? Apparently we already have 100. So there's Pokemon from Paldea that we've caught already that are part of this DLC. So we actually only have to catch 50 in order to get Parents' reward. Okay, that's a lot easier than I thought it would be. And yo, there's only one spot. No way, man. Diplin doesn't evolve again? I would have sworn that Diplin evolves again. It goes straight from Diplin to Vulpix. Oh, that's... That's sad, man. Unless it's like in another part of the Pokedex, but I doubt it. Or maybe you can only get its second evolution in the second DLC, Hopium? <laughs> uh, I was really hoping Diplin would evolve again, but... At least, so far, it doesn't seem like it. What's up with you, though? Are you a trainer, bro? You ready to fight? Of course you are. I'm a traveling at- Wait, what? I see you've got a Rotom phone. Let me add a snazzy new feature for ya. Okay. What did this guy just do? The upper and lower frames of compatible apps can be set to match the design of the phone case you have. Oh, interesting. I mean, I guess that's a cool little touch. What kind of Rotom phone do I have anyway? I don't even think, is it, is it this? App and minimap locked rotation. What? I don't even know. Okay, I guess I have the default Rotom phone then. The frame matches the case. That's cool, I guess. Anyway, we've made it to the first signpost. Maybe we'll get to meet one of the legendary three already. Would certainly spice things up. Sorry, did I startle you? I did mention that I'd hang back and follow you here. We're supposed to read the signboard, right? I guess so. I already know the whole story, so go ahead. You should check it out. Okay. Long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, 
the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okidogi, Monkey Dory, and Pheasantipity all happened to be there as well. The three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this brave trio the title of the Loyal Three. Their remains were given a proper burial, and statues of the three were erected above the site. The Loyal Three Monument is right over there. But don't you think the ogre in that folktale sounds kinda cool? Uh, sure? Come on! It was all alone! The battle was three against one, but the ogre still managed to hold its own! That's way cool! Oh, but I guess most people would just think an ogre like that's scary, huh? I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little, I went up into the mountains so many times at night, all on my own, and I never once met that ogre. Only scary thing that happened was the grown-ups giving me a real earful about it. Uh, so yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? Oh yeah, I haven't actually tried out the new camera feature yet, huh? Should probably do that after our handy dandy photo! So just like with the gym challenge back in the base game, I guess in the DLC we take pictures in front of these signboards. I'm not trying to butter you up- excuse me? First the sister wants us to get into weird positions and now he's trying to butter us up? Bro, what are these siblings trying to do to us? Trying to eat us up like a candied apple? Whoa! Finally? You decide to come out of your ball? Is that some kind of kaiju or something? A kaiju? <laughs> sure. It's called Goraidon? And you ride on it? I've never seen another Pokemon like this. And it seriously comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich? Yep. Our little sandwich loving lizard is quite peculiar. No wonder you're so strong, Orange. You're special. And you can be special too after you meet Ogre Pod, of course. No need to beat around the bush, we already know. This kid is clearly getting set up to meet with the Ogre atop the mountain and probably become its trainer. Judging by what I've seen in the trailers at least, I feel like either gonna command Ogre Pod in the last battle or catch it for himself. Yo, this guy got some drip though. Slowbro has gotta learn Scald, right? Weather Ball. Hey, there it is! Scald is a TM! And literally, Slowbro is the one that they use as an example. I love it. We didn't check out this shop yet either. The guy said it's called like Peachies or something. I wonder if she's got any new items that weren't available in the base game. Curry Powder. Use too much of this potent seasoning and it'll cancel out the other flavors. And a horseradish too. What? You can make like wasabi? Oh, wait, it said buy clothing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got some new clothes? Oh, it's just. Gloves and socks, really? Wow, we got knitted gloves. I mean, I don't know what I expected from an old granny. Kind of like the black or the white and red more. Still, not with my fit, but sure, I'll buy them just to support local business, you know? Thank you, granny. Can we now ride on Koraidon? Yo! Nice! We can go way faster through this now. We're gonna speed run through the story. I don't even care about fighting these trainers because. If anything, I would want to wait until we get some new Pokemon in our roster before I actually fight any of them. Vulpix for- yo! That means Vulpix has got to be somewhere close by, right? Oh wait, was that it? No, that's freaking Stantler, dude. No one wants Stantler! Where's my Vulpix? I can't end this first episode without a Vulpix. What? <gasps> yo! Okay! We got a new Pokemon finally! And I think I see Vulpix in the background too, running away. I was about to say I should have someone with False Swipe, but that wouldn't even work against Pulchy Geist anyway because it's a uh, ghost type. Uh, I feel like I would kill it with a Double Shock too, so I guess we go Nuzzle. I know I could have just gone for a Quick Ball. Oh my god, dude. Okay, that was a critical hit. I was about to say, man. That did way too much damage for it being not very effective and it being Nuzzle. 
Like, the weakest electric move ever. But it looks like we get at least one new Pokemon to start off our Kitakami adventure. And I'm gonna try catching it in a nest ball because... I feel like the color scheme fits the matcha theme, and look at that! We even get a critical capture! Let's go! I love that! Poltergeist has been caught. Supposedly, the regrets of a tea ceremony master who died before perfecting his craft lingered in some matcha and became a Pokemon. <laughs> Name it Boba, please. Oh, that is a cute nickname, I will admit. I mean, it's not really a boba tea exactly, but I guess you can put boba in a matcha drink. So why not? Let's go with boba. It does look like it has little boba pearls on its forehead, like the three dots. Actually, yeah, that nickname is growing on me. Great suggestion. Got lunge. And I swear I saw a Vulpix somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, please don't run away from me, little one. Come here. Ugh. What the heck? Why did my Pokeball just ding against the floor like that? That's weird. <gasps> it's a female too. Okay, please don't kill it with Nuzzle. Oh my god, I just realized I'm level 80. No wonder I'm doing so much damage, bro. I'm freaking level 80. But we didn't kill it, which means... Oh my god, you've got Fire Blast! It's gonna kill us! <laughs> I've underestimated Fabi. That's crazy. No critical capture this time, but... Of course it catches. We gotta get Fabi on the team. Vulpix is packing some heat in Kitakami. I love it. If it's attacked by an enemy that's stronger than itself, it feigns injury to fool the enemy and escapes. Ooh, I love Vulpix, dude. In case you guys don't know. Vulpix is kind of my favorite Pokemon, or at least one of them. All right, I think we're going to head up to this uh, next signpost. Ooh, we can actually do a little bit of like a skip here, right? Because we have all of Kuraidon's abilities. If you started this... Wait, what's down there actually? Whoa, what the heck? I mean... Whoa! Got some Sand Shrews, okay. And a Starly. Did this poor little Starly, is it like one of those birds that like... The mom pushes off the nest so it can learn how to fly, but but this one didn't learn how to fly. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? It's like, I don't know, I've seen it in nature documentaries. The leap of faith or something. But yeah, I don't know, I, I expected something more interesting down here. I mean, it's, I guess, new Pokemon, but nothing that crazy. Alright, uh, let's head up this cliff, do a little bit of... Uh, Sequence break, I guess? Not really sequence break, but we're not taking the usual path up the mountain. Skip all the way up to Kitakami Hall. Oh, is this like a shrine? Yo, this looks awesome. The girders? Something about that looks weird. Like just seeing a girder carrying a steel beam in this like very uh, olden looking town. I mean, I would assume that most of this is made with wood, not steel, but what do I know? What you want, bro? Relax and enjoy yourself. Oh, wait, is this not where we're supposed to go? Where the frick is the signpost? Ah, there it is. Okay. Actually, okay. Uh, before I do this, some of you guys said apparently Jock is hanging out back near the town entrance, or was it Kitakami Hall? Oh my gosh, he's literally right there, bro. How did I miss him? Jock, what the frick, man? What are you doing here? Hello, hello. Enjoying that school trip, are ya? Well, why are you here? I came to check on how you're doing. I am your homeroom teacher, after all. Once I got here, I decided to do a bit of research on the Pokemon of Kitakami, and... And what? What do you have for us, man? That's right, sorry. I got so engrossed in my own research that I actually forgot to come find you, didn't I? Well, how about I make up for it by treating you to a picnic? I thought something like this might happen, so I borrowed all the usual picnic things from Director Clavel. Okay... Where is this going? I kind of already got spoiled by chat that we're gonna get a special reward from this, so... I hope you like the sandwich I made! Don't tell me he's just gonna give us a gulp in, bro. Please. 
Can't believe how your kids run all over the place for your treasure hunt. You're really something. Oh, could there be something in my basket? Is it an egg? It has to be an egg, right? That's that's what you get in baskets. Feast your eyes on that. <laughs> Please don't eat it, Gulpin. A Pokemon egg. Quite the mystery, ain't it? I only brought Gulpin to this picnic with me, and yet... How could it have appeared? Did you put the egg in... Bruh. I, I, I guess it doesn't really matter, like... Just give us the egg. Hand it over. I'm gonna make a nice scramble out of it. Just kidding, guys. I would never do that. But now it's ours! I know it's odd for me to come all the way to Kitakami just to hand over an egg, but I need to be safe with you, Orange. That reminds me, are you still using your Pokedex app over here too? You should be able to fill the Kitakami Pokedex by catching Pokemon that live around here. I'll be doing field work in the area for a while, so let me know if you manage to complete the Kitakami Pokedex in your app. Let me know in the comments what you guys think will hatch out of this mysterious egg that we have just gotten. Anyway, uh, let's wrap up this first episode by reading the second sign. And who knows, maybe one of these legendaries will show up this time. I feel like it's still a bit early, but you never know. Let's find out. The ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. It is said that depending on the mask the ogre donned, the powers of its cu cudgel? I have never heard that word before. I'm, I'm gonna have to do a... Hold up. A short, thick stick used as a weapon. So, Ogre Pond has a stick? And wait, hold up. It has four different masks? When wearing the teal mask, it could bring life back into withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue mask, it could stop the very flow of a river. And when wearing the ashen gray mask, it could easily break the hardest stone in two. <gasps> Does that confirm the types of the three legendaries? It's probably... Oh. What is it? Okie Dogi is rock type? Before the loyal three fell, they wrested away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. Did you read it? Yup. The masks of the three loyal are kept over at Kitakami Hall. I know I read that wrong, but everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me. I really like it. Bro, I don't care. Did, we just got confirmation that Ogre Pond has not one, but four terrestrial forms. And I think they're fire, water, and rock type. And of course the grass type, which is the one that we've seen, the teal mask. I want to be as cool as the ogre. Yeah. We all do, buddy. My sis sort of ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. I want to try to get stronger so I can do things for myself, you know? I'm gonna become someone people can rely on, and then, just maybe, I could be that ogre's friend. Oh, uh, right. Picture, we're supposed to take a picture. <laughs> you can take the next one too, if you don't mind. Are they actually gonna make us take it, or? Nope, never mind. There it is. Picture done. But the real question is, who's taking the picture? <laughs> I mean, there is a Rotom in our phone, so I guess it just floats and takes it on its own. You know the mountain stories say the ogre lives on? It's actually Oni Mountain. You can climb it from the stairs over there. If you wanted, we could go see the ogre's home. Folks call it the dreaded den. I want to see it. But unfortunately, that's going to have to wait until the next episode. Don't forget to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed. And next time, we'll be heading up Oni Mountain. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.